What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to a new video. In the last uh, upload a few days ago, uh, in the comments, I mentioned wanting to do a separate um, video upload uh, more about light and how light can be observed or how it looks uh, in these different, um, you know, planes, different dimensions. And um, so I want to uh, hop right into that. <clears throat> uh, we... Um, you know, in our human body, with our human sight, uh, we see a, a fraction of the actual full light spectrum that's all around us. We're only seeing a small percentage of what is in front of us in our environment, uh, slash larger structure, larger reality system that's all around us. Um, and so we're, we're, uh, we have our sensory input that goes into our human human body and our human sight to see what we see. So we kind of already see how light affects objects, you know, what a, a flower looks like or, you know, the grass or the ocean or, you know, just our environment in general, how our, uh, how light uh, is observed, you know. So we have a general sense of that here, this human experience. Um, now, uh, when you're in the etheric plane, um, which uh, is the next uh, uh, frequency of matter or next uh, dimension, um, uh, you have nighttime, you have daytime there, just like nighttime, daytime here, but in this, in this current reality we're in. Uh, <laughs> the only difference, though, is that during the daytime in the etheric plane, uh, light is definitely uh, subdued. So it's like present, it's there, uh, but it's subdued. And when it's some, when light is, uh, when you think of something being subdued, uh, what, what that really means is that, you know, you're seeing colors and seeing things in that environment of the etheric plane, but it's just a little darker, uh, more grayish, and for a lot of people, more uh, more of a tint of blue or a light blue, uh, kind of saturated into the overall color schemes of uh, what you're seeing in front of you in your environment. Okay, and at night, the etheric plane is very dark uh, because, again, in a general sense, light is subdued, right? So that makes it. That's why, like a lot of times, when we astrally project and we're projecting into our etheric body. Uh, at night, it's just really dark in the room. Uh, so, so uh, I hope that gives some uh, perspective on how it's observed. Now, when you move into the low astral structure, then you have a blend of different kinds of um, reality, you know, worlds, reality constructs all over the place. You know, somewhere on the on the surface of that astral plane level, and then you have a lot of other ones that are underground in that other frequency of matter. So the reality constructs that are underground have either artificial lighting process, some other kind of technologies, things to animate, animate light, emanate light. And uh, then in the last video, I mentioned briefly about certain reality constructs in low astral that have just fire technology, bonfires, fire itself as a way to uh, emanate light in that particular reality. Um, so, uh, uh, so, but, but, uh, but most of them are more well lit. There's more of, there's a certain like, uh, glow. Um, and, uh, there's more of a color spectrum, uh, in the astral reality constructs, even in the low astral. Um, uh, but they have to be on the plane surface, on the surface of that individual level of plane. Uh, and so you can see that by looking at a blade of grass, a flower, uh, water, anything around you. Uh, there's more of, there's a little more color, uh, and it, there's more of this kind of astral uh, glow. And now, as you go up uh, into the mid-range of the astral plane structure, you know, uh, third level, fourth level, fifth level, um, you know, the, the small points of light that you would maybe notice in the lower astral plane, um, best way to describe it is the small points of light then expand, grow into larger points of light. And it's kind of like a gauge too. Uh, so as you're astral projecting and you're moving around, shifting consciousness into these different levels and different you know, dimensions, you, 
uh, can kind of pay attention to how uh, what your environment looks like, you know. Uh, so <clears throat> when you are going to the mid uh, range of the astral plane structure, that small point of light from the previous levels is going to expand to larger points of light. So that's just a good gauge. Um, and that's a good way of exp uh, the explaining it, too, basically. Uh, now, as you move into uh, the mental plane structure of the higher part of the astral plane structure, um, you know, I've had several solid, maybe a dozen solid uh, experiences out of bodies there in the mental plane structure. Um, and uh, light, that, that larger point of light, from the mid-range uh, basically becomes more saturating and expands even more. It's just part of the natural environment, right? And the other, other way to tell, <clears throat> for example, as far as gauging where you're actually at, uh, is that in the mental pain structure, those worlds, reality constructs there, um, uh, all, the, uh, all of the consciousness or you know beings that are around you uh, in whatever uh, place you end up in, uh, everyone can read each other's minds, uh, you know, emotions, thoughts, intentions, all that stuff. It's all up in the open. Uh, but the but the neat thing is that even though that seems intrusive, uh, there's a uh, the positive aspect to it is that then you are in this new environment with your consciousness, and you're realizing that you can connect and read people's emotions and consciousness around you. But you can also then know and sense that all of these beings are uh, living a, uh, a a a life experience where there is a uh, where there's no dualism, there's no duality really. Um, I'm sure there's like a little little bit or something here and there, but but for the most part, uh, it's it's, it's non-dualistic on the emotional scale and the mental scale and all those other things, um, like. <clears throat> Like here, in this Earth matrix, in this reality construct we're currently in, in this human bodies, uh, we're in a uh, even split, 50-50 of dualism, where there's usually a, uh, a negative for a positive, there's a positive emotion with a negative emotion, there's a, a positive action with a, a negative action. And in, one, in, in one instance, uh, there's people rescuing, uh, rescuing a cow from drowning in a in a pond or a swamp, and they're, you know, using uh, farming or tractors and things to like pull a cow out and save its life. And then in another part of the world, uh, it's being slaughtered and abused, you know, at farms and stuff. Um, so this is the positive negative. No matter what you do, is in this reality construct. Uh, so when you uh, have a mental plane. Um, astral projection, uh, and you uh, experience uh, that state of having consciousness in a non-dualistic uh, environment with other uh, beings around you, it is actually kind of neat. You know, it is it is very neat. Is is it for everybody? No. That's why I'll, there's a lot of consciousness and souls that are still here in these human bodies and in other places and stuff. So. Uh, only a, a small, you know, a, a smaller ratio or percentage of, uh, you know, uh, of consciousness is having, let's say, a particular life experience, uh, you know, there currently. Um, so I, I hope I hope this video uh, kind of was helpful in uh, understanding uh, at least my own uh, perspective and observation of, of how light just is observed and how it kind of functions uh, in these other planes, other dimensions. Uh, there's a lot to be said. Um, you know, I try to keep it simple, you know, uh, but, you know, uh, this this uh, this topic is definitely something that can be expanded on uh, very much so. And uh, there's a lot of other videos that, that can be, uh, you know, made as different parts to this. So let me know how you guys feel about that. And if you want to hear more uh, questions down in the comments, like the video. If, if you like the video, uh, share it with somebody, uh, you know, if you think they might be interested in this kind of topic. All right. Talk to you guys very soon. Peace.